Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we'll discuss on this is video on plane part two. Okay. So first we will discuss in this intercept form of equation of the line. Equation of a plane, sorry. Okay. So this is let's say x, y and z axis. So there is a plane which is making the intercept let's say this intercept is p a comma 0 comma 0 y is q 0 b 0 and this is 0 0 c okay so the equation of the plane in intercept form is given by x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equals to 1 so this is the equation of plane in intercept form okay now we'll discuss about plane passing through the intersection of plane passing through intersection of two given planes okay so let's say this is a plane one and this is another plane and there is one more plane which is passing through let's say this is pi 2 plane 2 this is plane 1 and this is plane 3 so the plane 3 is passing through the intersection of plane 1 and 2 so plane 1 and 2 equations are given by r dot n1 is equal d1 and plane 2 equation r dot n2 is equals to d2 okay and we need to find out the equation of the plane 3 which is given by r dot n vector plus lambda times n2 vector is equals to d1 plus lambda times d2 okay so this is the equation of the plane passing through the intersection of two planes okay student now we'll discuss about the coplanet planarity of the two planes and then we'll discuss about angle between two planes and there are some more things which are left so student coplanarity of two lines of two planes so let's say the first plane is given by and we need to prove that whether the two planes are in coplanar or not okay and the second plane is given by mu times b2 okay so if the two planes satisfy this equation a2 minus a1 vectors dot b1 cross b2 so we will say that these two planes are coplanars otherwise they are not okay students and now the angle between the two planes they are simple formula students uh, just similar to the lines that we have discussed so that that is why I am not, not giving you the derivation of the formulas because it is not useful okay so let's say there are two planes this is let's say one plane and there is one more plane let's say this is and the angle between these two planes means the angle between the normals of these planes let's say this is n1 and the normal of the second plane is n2 so the angle between these two planes let's say is theta now so this is n1 dot n2 upon mod n1 mod n2 okay so this is the angle between two planes okay 
Now to find out the distance of a point from a plane. So students to find out the distance of a point from a plane let's say this is a plane given and this is the n vector perpendicular vector to this plane and we need to find out if there is a point on another plane let's say this point and we need to find out the distance between these two planes this is let's say plane 1 and this is plane 2 okay so the unit vector normal to pi 2 is n cap so we'll the equation is this the n cap is the unit vector perpendicular to n cap and p is a position vector of any point from which we need to find out the this is the a vector okay so the distance will be given by then the distance pq from the plane pi1 is equals to d minus a dot n okay so this is the distance student and in the cartesian form it is given by where a vector the position vector of a point is x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap and perpendicular vector n is given by a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap so the distance is given by a x i plus b y1 plus c z1 minus d over root of a square plus b square plus c square where d is given by if the plane is given in this like form cz ax plus by plus c z is equals to d so there is the d point so the distance between a point and a plane is given by this formula okay and last but not the least angle between a line and a plane so students let's say a uh, equation of the line is given by r vector is a time a vector plus lambda times b vector and the equation of the line plane is given by this so the angle between these two will be given by b vector dot n cap or you can say n vector and so this is mod of b up in, in this is mod of n so this is the theta is the angle between line and the plane so students this was all about the plane and in the next lecture we will discuss some questions based on it so stay tuned for that lecture students thank you happy learning